Hello, this is a video tutorial for an app called Conduit Calc Pro, uh, available for iOS. It is a universal app, it will run on your iPhone, iPod, uh, iPad, all your devices for one purchase. When we first run the program, a welcome screen comes up. Uh, you may want to read through that, there's some important information. And then click OK. When you first come into this app, by far the most important thing to do is go down to this little wrench, your settings, in the bottom right, click on it, and make sure you're on the right um, code version. We support the uh, latest, latest Canadian code and the latest national code, which is uh, United States. And select the code version that you want and hit done. Now when you first come into this app, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's not. Um, especially in its simplest form. In its simplest form, you can come in, quickly select your wire type. I'm going to leave it on T90. Quickly select your wire size, let's say number 12, and that's it. You can look at your maximum number of that wire type and size that you can put in each conduit size. So half inch, you can fit nine number 12 T90s, three quarter inch, 16 number 12 T90s, etc. And that's it. That'll uh, save you a lot of time going to the code book to find those results. But often, more often than not, we're putting in more than one wire size. In which case, you can put in bundles of wire into your conduit and get a calculated result. So let's say we wanted to put uh, a set, so we'll say four number 12 T90s in, and we'll call that, I don't know, whatever, lighting and then we'll add a new bundle new bundle added, thank you and we'll call it, I don't know, various racks and we'll give it another bundle of four and we'll make them number ten for whatever reason okay so now we have a pipe, a single pipe with two wire bundles in it, one lighting, one various racks now our maximum number of selected wire is not as important. It is showing the selected wire, so number 10, T90, your maxes. But now that we're doing a more complicated, complicated calculation, we're going to look at uh, this row here, column, sorry, which is percentage fill of all the wires in your conduit. And this is going to give how full each pipe is. And if it's red, it's going to indicate that it's over full, and green is still underfilled, according to the code. So this is showing 75 or 4% fill, it's too full half inch too full because our max fills 40 percent right anything over two wires uh, now you can see your next conduit three quarter inch is 26 percent full this pipe's gonna work right and of course any larger pipe will also work you can also get a summary of what's in the pipe by clicking on summary it'll uh, give you your maximum fill which 40 percent obviously uh, it'll give you the fill percentage of the minimum pipe that it's calculated 25 percent It'll give you your minimum conduit, three quarter inch, or 21 mil for you metric guys. Uh, how many bundles of wire you put in, how many total wires, area of the wire, area of the minimum conduit. So you can kind of double check the results or whatever you need to do with that information. And of course you can select bundles. When you select a bundle it will come up in the wire area of course. You'll see that's our number 12s and that's our number 10s. You can edit, edit them at this point. You can also delete a selected one, so let's say we don't want our various recs, we hit delete, yes, that one's gone, we're back to a single single bundle and now we can fit in half inch. Um, 3 eighths is NA right now because uh, the Canadian code book doesn't list an area for 3 eighths. If you go to NEC that will become uh, relevant. Now that's for a single pipe, now if we go down to our bottom bar, this is where we handle our conduits. So now, same as this bar, we can add conduits. Let's go ahead and add a conduit. We can name them. So you might want to name this, I don't know, uh, main ER to neck room, say. And each one of these conduits will have its own set of wire bundles. So we can easily calculate um, an entire job with just by adding all the conduits and adding all the wires we want to that conduit. Um, same thing if you click the little menu list, it'll give all, all our different conduits that are in this job. We can select between them, of course, and we can delete them here. And that's pretty much it. Um, the app also comes with a built-in calculator, which is also a construction calculator, allowing you to work in um, feet. 
So if you need to divide up a room or uh, calculate uh, uh, wire lengths, it'll also do conversions. So if you know you know you have a 152 foot run, you can easily just hit meter and you'll get it in meters. It also has 10, 10 memory locations um, to keep your information in there. And on top of that, we'll go over to the menu here. From your menu, you'll be able to reset. So once you add a whole pile of pipes or once you do a whole job and you're moving on to the next job, you might want to uh, reset the app. This will bring it right back to, uh, it'll delete all your pipes, all your bundles, bring it back to as if you uh, just installed it. Email will take all your results, all your pipes, all your bundles, all the summaries of all the pipes, and we'll put it into an email format that you can shoot off to a guy in the field or a guy running a job or a guy back to the office to check results, whatever you want. Um, email is a CSV that will allow you to bring it into a spreadsheet. And at that point, you can do uh, special formatting, you know, change header colors, um, print it from there, whatever you want, right? The help will bring you to our website and allow you to email us if you need some help and the video tutorial will bring you right to this video on YouTube to uh, watch the tutorial okay and I guess that's about it so thanks for now and thanks for purchasing uh, Conduit Calc Pro